Time to move on. Back down we go. This gate is locked, so we won't be going that way. So Maria is dead again. Anyone else getting a really bad feeling about this girl? So, so much for Maria, again. But now this gate is open, so we can move on. We get a first aid kit. Always handy to have those. And we have a rather strange room. We're suddenly in a graveyard. There's a safe point in here, if needed. Also a few types of ammo around to be found. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. An ampule, okay. I forgot that was here. So let's see what all we have here, and what are you looking at? Oh. Shotgun shells. Won't turn those down. The name on this tombstone is too scratched up to read. An epitaph is inscribed here. This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Too scratched up. Miriam K. Traitor. For those wondering, that's not the same Miriam that was uh, killed in the murder. And speaking of the murder, hi there, Walter Sullivan. And now we have these ones. Eddie Dombrowski and Angela Orozco. That's rather chilling, but nothing compared to the last one. James Sunderland. Well then, I guess we know where we're supposed to go. Because we apparently haven't gone far down enough yet. Stairways, Joel. Long hallways, Joel. Very, very, very long hallways.
you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Oh, bad move. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. <laughs> yeah, Eddie doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> There are really a lot of weapons that you can use effectively for this fight. But there is something kind of satisfying about using the plank. Just something about giving him the spanking he so richly deserves. His gunshots of course do a lot of damage to you. If you can stay behind him enough, you can actually have a fairly easy time taking him out this way. Backing him into a corner and staying behind him, that's the way to go. He can also punch you at short range sometimes. Just don't underestimate him. Eddie can do a lot of damage and fast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Fortunately, I have plenty of health items. When he starts to aim, he can't really be hit anymore, so take advantage of when he's reloading or getting behind him, so that he can't aim at you. Though, after that, you're gonna want something better for the second uh, part of the fight. He starts getting really dangerous there. I get some rifle shells. Shotgun shells. And that's pretty much all there is in here. So let's continue on. Charming. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> He's going to have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. Interesting. Think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. So you want to wrap this fight up as quickly as possible. Best way to do that is to stay close to him so he can't shoot you. He will never shoot you from close range, all he can do is punch. Don't get me wrong, it still does damage, but not as much as getting shot. And so you can wrap this up pretty quickly with the shotgun. Boomstick! Eddie? Eddie? killed a, a huge 
human being. A human being. Did you really die three years ago? So there's nothing we can do with Eddie. We can't even have his gun. Uh, better go ahead and reload this. Switch back to the plank. Recharge. May as well use another one just to make sure. Okay. So here we find some telling things about Eddie. Remember back when we first met him at the apartment? That other room that we could find behind him that was full of sports memorabilia, most notably posters of football players, and even a football? Yeah. I think we're seeing a little bit of a glimpse into Eddie's own torment. Rather interesting to, con to go back and consider that. So, yeah. We're done with Eddie. completely driven insane by being picked on. Also interesting that now James seems to be questioning what he thinks he knows. And suddenly we're back outside and on what appears to be the main level of the town. Despite all those holes we jumped down, we never went up anywhere. How confusing. But anyway, we've reached a safe point. Here we are at the shipping dock, and this is where we're going to pick up next time. For now, I'm just going to call this. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.